Welcome on in, everybody. How we doing? Today, this is part two. Fix your game crashes in America Truck Simulator. In this video, I will show you how to deal deal with mods and what your load orders should look like. Mods are mods will break your game. Um, the modified game files, which can lead to crashes if they're not um, configured properly. Um, that's on the modder side. If they mess something up, it's gonna mess up a lot of stuff. Um, mods will also break with any updates that ATS has. SCS pushes a small update, big update, it don't matter. It'll crash mods. It'll it'll break them, and it'll cause it can cause some big issues. When this happens, whenever an update happens, what you want to do, first thing you need to do is verify the game files, which I showed you in the last video. I have the link in the description for that video. After you do that, you need to go into your mod manager. Make sure there's no red icon next to them. If there is, pull them out, delete them, all that good stuff. Something I cannot stress enough is just because there is no red icon does not mean that mod is compatible. If you're getting game crashes and there's no red icon, guess what you get to do? You get to go through and pull your mods out one by one and figure out which one it is. So you need to make something else that'll cause game crashes is in proper load order for your mods. So if they're not put into the mod manager correctly in the correct order, and it's gonna work, you gotta look at the mod manager as a layer. You gotta have a foundation, which is like your maps, because your maps is what your stuff will load into. You know, we'll get into all that here, here in a minute. First thing you want to do, if you have a game crash and it's mod related, you verified the game files, everything came back fine, but you're still getting a game crash. First thing you want to do, make a new profile. This is a test. This will be a testing profile because if you're one of those that have two, three, four, eight hundred million mods in it, you don't want to sit there and pull a mod, put a mod in, take it out, put it in, take it out, put it in, take it out. This profile, you'll be able to put a mod in, put another mod in until the game crashes. Then you know what mod crashed your game. So make sure stuff's loaded in properly. While I'm talking, you see the load order, jot it down. It is from top to bottom as it is. Um, I recommend do not use third party sites. You know what sites you're using? Stop it. They normally do not work, and they usually are full of corrupted files anyway, and you'll never get the full updates. I know there's some big uh, mod sites out there that do have leaked payware trucks. You'll never get the full support from them for them trucks, and they're usually full of corrupted stuff that you don't want on your PC. That's tomorrow's video of potentially other stuff not related to mods but you steam trucky um you've got the few bucks to spend get payware mods like john ruda pister z mods there's some um serial blocks another one for sounds excellent stuff highly recommend it Keep all your mods updated. This will help with game crashes. Um, if you go through Steam and Truckee, they will update as soon as the mods are updated. They will update automatically. Love it, especially Steam. Um, I know like Pister and Ruta, they're usually within 24 hours of a game update. They've got their stuff ready to go. I know Pister modding, they took the manifest lock off of their trucks. So you don't have to worry about if the game updates and your truck breaks and your trailers and all that. 
that's all gone. You don't have to worry about it. That's amazing. Something else that is important, and I cannot stress this enough, is beta versions will break your mods, period. These videos will not help you if you are in any type of a beta version of American Truck Sim, period. That's how it is. Many modders will not update mods when the game is in beta. So don't ask them. They're not going to do it. I've had, I don't know, I've had comments of people saying, oh, I'm in beta and this mod won't work. Well, the problem is you're in beta. That's just, that's, it's not going to work. So, that's, that's one thing I cannot, I cannot express that enough is betas will break your, will break your mods. I recommend if you're going to go into a, um, you're going to go into open beta, get rid of your mods. Don't use them. And once again, it goes back to what I said before. Well, it's got red icons, so I'll just pull those out. You're still going to have mods that break that don't have the red icon. So, let's get on to the load. Now that my rant in, is over, <laughs> let's get on to the proper load order. As you can see, it's been on my screen. We're going to go through them, and I'll show you what it should look like. That's the reason why it's behind my mod manager. Anyway, we're gonna. I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way to the top. Because once again, we're going to work it like it's in layers. Because if you don't have maps, this right here, if you don't have maps, you can't load any of this other stuff. So your maps and map assets should be at the bottom. Like Reforma, Coast to Coast, um... Pro mods, all that at the bottom. What I mean by resource stuff like extended traffic lights, real companies, billboards, improved guardrail. Um, if you remove the little yellow things where you make everything passable, Daniel's road events, all that will be above your maps, below your trucks. Your trucks will be next up from the bottom so if you have a ruda pister whoever will go there keep all your truck files together what do i mean by that say rudas comes with anywhere between four to six sometimes more keep them all together in a proper load don't scatter them throughout your stuff that'll that'll break your truck if you do that um, next will be your trailers. Then any skins you have, any custom skins, any skins you get off the um, workshop or truck or whatever will go above your trailers because skins can't load if there's no trailers to load to. Um, all your AI traffic mods, all your AI traffic like Jazzy Cat, any traffic density mods, any of that go right here above the skins. Above that, any tuning parts. Tires, wheat, horns, headlights, interior parts, anything that is part related, it goes here. I even highly recommend if you have any like navigation stuff, put it in here. Next will be physics, like serial black physics. There's other physics that are out there. I don't know them right off the top of my head right now. Then next will be like um, Project Next Gen, JBX. Um, I use brutal weather and graphics. We'll go above that. Any sounds, game sounds, engine sounds, if it's a sound, will be second down from the top in any backgrounds. And I get all the time, what do you mean by backgrounds? Any custom backgrounds for your, like your loading screen? Go in there. Like you have a neat, you know, picture of your own truck you want to put in there, whatever. So that is proper load order. Hopefully you all got that. I started from the bottom, going to the top because your trucks can't load if there's no maps to load to. Your trailers can't load if there's no trucks to connect to. Skins can't load if there's no trucks or trailers to load to. Your traffic 
can't load if there's no maps. See I'm saying it's a layer. Tuning parts, once again, can't load if there's no trucks or trailers to load to. Physics, same way, and so on and so forth. So, if you need this load order, it is on um, on the SDS forums on their website. Just do the little Google search, and they'll do it for you. So, hopefully this helps with your mods. And the next video I release will be part three, be our final now, it'll be a quicker video, be a shorter video. Just with stuff that I have found that will happen on your computer that'll cause game crashes. Yeah, I found out the hard way after six and a half hours of trying to fix a game crash one day. Come to find I had nothing to do with the game. It's like, oh. So, stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell. I'm also live every evening, Monday through Friday at five o'clock Eastern. So love for you to hang out. But without any further ado, hopefully that helps you guys out and gals. You guys enjoy your day, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.